Well, good morning, YouTubes. I'm having breakfast out on a porch, so if you hear birds and dogs barking and lawnmowers out in the background, that's what it's caused by. You know, sometimes there's parts of my brain that just really want to believe or to think that there might be something else out there. Like dogs. That would be the beloved Casey of my of my good puppy video. Yeah. Anyway, um, there are sometimes parts of me that want to believe, or that want to think there's some other higher force out there. Now, now in my case, it's certainly not an neighbor hammock. But you know, my name is Raven Blaze, or Raven Blaze, however it happens to be. And part of that is because I do feel a connection to ravens. Um, because no matter how hard I tried in high school, I tried to find a different name for this dark, gothic -y archetype of a character I was looking with, and which has basically followed me ever since I was in high school. I created the archetype as kind of like a dream lover, um, and yet through over, over the years, I've become that character, not transforming myself into that character, but adapting that character to me and as a way to describe and get out my feelings about the world around me, like my longing for a mate or the struggles I go, I'm going through with changes in life or different things going on with my family or just, you know? I'm a creative, activist, uber-crazy individual, and there's some people who don't like me for that. So, between identifying with the character so much, and, well, one of my best friends um, back from BG happens to be a pagan, and she gave me a book about ravens because, as it turns out, she happens to strongly identi identify with crows. Um, and she, her, and crows and ravens are basically really close cousins on the bird family tree of evolution. No wonder we have a connection. But part of my brain desperately wants to believe that when I see a raven, something interesting is going to happen. Because ravens, according to many mythologies, are a sign of change. Um, and as it turns out, whenever a step or a turn or a twist happens in my life, either because my brain is saying, oh, wow, there's a raven up in the sky or up in that tree. I wonder what's going to happen today. And then it, when it notices this other massive change in my life, it draws a line between them, which I realize, that's just my brain looking for patterns. But it still makes me wonder. It still makes that little part of my brain that is um, open to religion. That it makes that little part of my brain think. And for um, a character that I intend to play at Lake Erie Medieval Festival this year, um, I intend to be the priest of the Celtic goddess Morrigan. Um, and if I'm pronouncing that wrong in Gaelic, please forgive me. Please leave me a comment below with the phonetics of how to pronounce that name. Um, one of Morrigan's symbols is the raven, because she's a Celtic goddess of fate. When she's particularly in raven form, she's a, Cel she's a Celtic goddess of war and of battle, and is to some degree like a Valkyrie. When she's in that state, she's actually, she's got a lot of different characteristics to her. I'm going to be playing a priestess to the goddess Morrigan, and I don't know, just ever since I started playing with the Raven character and writing about her, I've kind of had a connection to Ravens. And, you know, I have to admit, whenever I see a Raven up in a tree, I just like, hi friend, you know, positivity, positive energy. But, I know there is no statistics or numbers around it. I know that that care that that supposed connection or linking of this event to seeing a raven or hearing a raven is just 
It's just that it's statistically possible because I live in the eastern woodland, technically of an area. There are ravens around. They're just a bird that happen to live in the Midwest and in Ohio. Even though I live in a city, ravens are very intelligent birds. They're scavengers, and so it's very likely that they would be able to find food, sustenance, shelter, and whatnot in a small city. Well, for Ohio, it's a rather large city like Columbus. But still, if for some reason at some point in the future I would just flat out give up... Oh, there goes a raven again. See? If I would some, uh, at some point in the future find that I can no longer ignore these thoughts and so forth inside my head, if I was to ever become a theist, it would probably be some form of a pagan which would involve ravens, um, possibly Celtic, Celtic lore, Germanic lore, just because I'm more in tune with Celtic and Germanic cultures, because, well, my family is of Northern European descent. Germany, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, a little bit of French. So where was I going with this? Yeah, if I was not an atheist, I'd probably be a pagan and the raven would actually be one of my symbols. And, well, I'm going to talk about in the next video what I'm going to be getting marked on my body. Peace out, YouTube.